Chapter 3 How Social Media Addiction Affects Your Psychological Health In this video, we'll discover about how social media addiction affects your psychological health. According to psychologists, 5-10% to of Americans have what qualifies as social media addiction. Just like other forms of addiction, it takes a toll on your performance in your everyday tasks. Meanwhile, failing to detach from the digital world once in a while has psychological effects. Here are some of the most common emotional issues associated with inappropriate use of digital devices. Fear of missing out, FOMO. FOMO is social anxiety due to the belief that you're missing out while others are having fun. Due to this feeling, you'll want to stick continually with an activity to avoid this tension. Also, it is a fear or regret which can make you have concerns that you might miss the opportunity to have a novel experience. FOMO makes you feel that you're making the wrong choice by choosing not to participate in something. Note that this anxiety isn't restricted to social media addiction. Nonetheless, social networking makes you susceptible to FOMO. Social media platforms are full of endless exciting activities and events that can make you feel like you're missing out when you're not online. Experts reckon that psychological dependence on social media can cause anxiety, which leads to FOMO. Note that this anxiety interferes with your psychological health and general well-being. You cannot focus during your daily tasks when you're battling FOMO. Your mind will keep drifting towards the comments and likes you could have been getting. Depression According to the World Health Organization, WHO, more than 264 million people are suffering from depression worldwide. So it is a prevalent condition that is ravaging many people in the world. You cannot take depression for granted because, at its peak, it can lead to suicidal ideations. The report from the WHO showed that almost 800,000 people commit suicide every year around the world. Note that depression is different from short-lived emotional responses to everyday challenges. Mood fluctuations are part and parcel of life. Nonetheless, depression is a different ballgame. It can be moderate or severe. However, it can affect a person's family, work, or school life negatively. The WHO reckons that it's prevalent among people between the ages of 15 and 29. Meanwhile, these are the set of people that use social media platforms the most. These platforms are full of situations that can make you depressed. You can ruin your mood by comparing yourself with other people who you feel are doing better than you. You can also be depressed through your exposure to insensitive and damaging comments made by others about your looks or your post. Anxiety If you are conversant with social media, you'll notice that many people are fond of posting manipulated images. They leverage editing apps to make themselves look more beautiful or handsome than they are in reality. Interestingly, you might know that the pictures are edited and they will still affect your mood. Also, you might know that many people only post about the highlights of their lives and rarely talk about their low moments and still feel bad. Spending more time with your devices will increase your anxiety levels while physical interactions cause a reduction. Seeing the people who care about you eye to eye improves your mood. It makes you feel valued, and this reduces anxiety. So, you're risking your psychological health when you prioritize interaction with digital devices over physical interactions. Low self-esteem According to an article by helpguy.org international, about 10% of teenagers have been victims of cyberbullying. Social media empowers people to subject others to offensive comments without caring about how the person feels. Besides, many social media users are fond of spreading lies and rumors about other people. Many find happiness in saying demeaning things about others that can bring them down. Once the damage is done, it becomes difficult to redeem a person's image. In some cases, such people find out that they have spread something they did not verify about a person. However, they will not use the same energy they use to spread the falsehood to spread the truth. Facts are boring, 
but lies are intriguing and exciting. Unfortunately, social media platforms are hubs of misconceptions and manipulations. Therefore, it is easy to lose your dignity and self-respect on these platforms. Many don't care about your age or social status when hurling abusive words at you. When the barrage is excessive, it can destroy your self-esteem. People that belong to minority groups such as blacks and Jews are often the target of uncensored racial slurs on these platforms. PTSD Trigger PTSD was discovered among war veterans and it became a medical term in the 1980s. Dr. Pam Ramsden, a scientist at the University of Bradford, released the result of an insightful study in 2015. She surveyed 189 people regarding their reaction to a plethora of situations. She discovered that more than a fifth of the participants had high scores on clinical measures of PTSD. Interestingly, she exposed the respondents to pictures on social media. Meanwhile, none of these participants had experienced these traumatic events previously. The result of the study is mind-blowing because it shows that you don't have to be at the war front to experience trauma related to such events. In the same way, you don't have to be involved in a miscarriage to feel what such people go through. The participants were not diagnosed. Nonetheless, Dr. Ramsden argued that the result is evident. According to her, if one of the participants had visited a hospital, he or she could be easily diagnosed with PTSD. Gone are the days when only the people going through traumatic events can personalize the experience. Social media platforms have made it possible to share disturbing and depressive images with other people worldwide. So, spending excessive time with your devices can make you experience trauma without having first-hand experience of the actual events. Hive Mind The hive mind seems to be more fictional than real. Nonetheless, social media abuse can create that semblance. You might have come across representations of the hive mind in fictional movies such as Star Trek. In the movie, the Borg assimilated intelligent species like humans into the collective. This process makes the organisms lose their individuality. It is some kind of telepathic connection where everyone in the group has similar thoughts. Although social media doesn't have the same cynical outlook, we aren't far from it. The abundance of relentless updates exposes you to what other people are thinking, their location, and plans. Many people even share sensitive information, such as family issues, on this platform. Some celebrity couples even have hot exchanges on these platforms. If they end up settling their issues, they will also post it on social media. The persistent barrage of information and ideas you receive from social media can make it difficult for you to reason as an individual. You can hate someone just because many people on the internet hate the person. Football stars, for example, face heavy criticism on social media because of unlimited access. You'll be surprised that the player in question has had many great performances. However, people often forget the good days during such days. Excessive use of these platforms can rob you of personal evaluation of personalities. Low Emotional Intelligence You cannot act beyond your exposure, knowledge, and the influence of the people around you. It is common on social media to find people who flare up at the slightest provocation. Disrespectful remarks and derogatory comments are the order of the day. You may see such behaviors as wrong initially. Nonetheless, you may find yourself acting that way in no time. Virtues such as patience, respect, honor, dignity, discipline, etc. are no longer in vogue. The moral decadence of our societies is on display in its most gory details on social media platforms. If you don't disconnect once in a while, you'll be absorbed into this appalling culture. Contrary to popular opinion, keeping your cool in the heat of the moment isn't outdated. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.